I remember a few times when I've been speaking about someone, I've said, that person is the nearest thing to a saint I've met in a long time. And when I say that, I know what I mean by it, and the people to whom I say it also know what I mean by it. We mean that the person is a good person, the person is living a good life, the person is a holy person. Another way of saying that is to say that the person is living according to the gospel, living a life that is very close to the way that Jesus himself lived. Saintliness is about holiness. What does it mean to be holy? Well, perhaps the best definition of holiness is the imitation of God. We are made in the image and likeness of God, but we don't always imitate God. However, when we do, in the sense that we love as perfectly as we can, and we share our lives with others, and we reach out to others as best we can, then we are coming close to what God is like. We are imitating God. We are holy. We are saintly people. In celebrating the Feast of All Saints on the 1st of November, we recognize the presence in our midst of at least some people like that. Yes, there are saints walking around the world as I speak, as you listen. There are, of course, saints who are in heaven now because they have died and moved into the next life. And we talk about those as canonized saints. Many of the saints to whom we pray are in that category. But sainthood is not confined to those people who are no longer living in this life but are now living eternally in heaven, although they often are the focus of our attention. Saintliness also has to do with people living on this earth in the here and now, living very good lives. Sometimes we think that if someone is a saint, then he or she is an extraordinary person and that is the case with some but not with most saints. Most saints are ordinary people like you and me who live very ordinary lives but they live them extraordinarily well. In other words they use the opportunities that God gives them to make the very best of living the gospel and allowing the good news of the gospel to touch other people's lives. That means they put other people before themselves. That means they prioritize so that God is always first and foremost in their lives. That means that they are truly the sisters and brothers of Jesus and they are recognized as such by the way they live. When we talk about the communion of saints, we talk about those canonized saints and maybe some who are not canonized who are already in heaven but we also talk about those of us who live on this earth who aspire to live very holy lives the feast of all saints then is a feast for you and me it's a feast that acknowledges the good efforts we make but it also challenges us gently but firmly to do our best to live better lives. And it holds before us the lives and examples of all those canonized saints who very often were very simple ordinary people, but who did ordinary things and lived ordinary lives extraordinarily well. That's why they are with God forever in heaven now. And that's why we hope that we too can be the same as them. We give thanks for the saints, we rejoice that we are part of the communion of saints, and we move forward in life in that hope and conviction that God is with us and that God is calling us to imitate him in holiness and saintliness. <laughs>